three, two, one. What's up everyone, Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture. Thank you for coming by today, February 17th, 2018. I don't know why I always tell you the date, I just feel the need to. We're gonna look at Litecoin charts as we attempt to break the 235. The stinking 235 got me last night. Let's take a look. Crypto Capital Venture, Twitter. By the way, if you're not following me on Twitter, please do. You know, I just got into Twitter recently, so I'm getting used to it. Uh, and I wanna be able to remember to post more often on there. So follow me. And uh, I posted a tweet last night. We're breaking 235 resistance tonight, let's go. Total fail, totally wrong. We didn't do it. I was trying to was trying to do one of those speak it into existence things and it just didn't work. So, but we're gonna talk about the 235. We're gonna also look at a couple other things on the chart. Namely, these higher highs. Higher highs, I mean, really, it's like every chapter of the Litecoin story is, has, is a higher high. Every chapter of, of cryptocurrency story, it seems to be higher high. If you look back on the charts, obviously we're always hitting new highs. And in the midst of those higher highs comes these corrections. But let's let's look at it and it's gonna help tell the story of where we are now. And we can we can even just go back to the, like last April. So I've kind of identified, you know, higher highs that we've hit along the way on the chart. So what we can illustrate with this is we can really start to um, we can see these higher highs and we can see each time that they're broken right here broken i won't do every single one but um you get the point broken new high okay broken new high right up here which is the most recent high that we've been so the question can be, well, when are we going to see another higher high? I mean, everybody wants a higher high compared to this, you know, almost 400 that we hit back in, you know, mid-December or whatever. But I'm not so focused on that right now, just because that might take a little time, you know, and I'm completely cool with that. But really what I'm really keeping an eye on right now is I'm keeping an eye on where we are kind of on the daily and this resistance that we have at 235, I think is a really key resistance, especially if, if you want these, you know, these new crazy highs and you wanna break this previous high. So let's, let's put it on the chart, this 235. Okay, so we have the 235 there and we can even go over to GDAX and we can see the, we can see the wall that's there, you know, right here, 23,000, a little over 23,000. And we want to keep an eye to see if we can break down that wall and we can break through and above. Because if we break through, you know, if, if I see us starting to break through the 235 resistance, I actually might add to my position at that point. It's a, it, it could be a nice buying opportunity. And, you know, I don't always, actually most of the time I don't buy, you know, as we're, kind of breaking a resistance i usually buy dips i buy in the fear and you know i have these zones down here for that however i see this 235 as a really key resistance because if we break 235 i think i think we're gonna it would be a time when we'd blow through 250 and i could see a nice run up so the question is are we gonna break 235 and i'm not fully confident that we will but if we do, I might look to add to my position, you know, you know, slightly above 235 as we as we make a move up. So if we don't break 235 and we see that we can't break through that resistance, really, you know, what I'm looking for is is the support. We have we have we have a support in the 200 to 210 range. So I look there as it dipped down and I look for buying opportunity there. And if we fall through that 200 support, uh, we can even look at we can even look at it on GDAX right here. Or I'm sorry, down here. Well, down here. So we have we have some 210 to 200. There's there's a lot of support in that area. So if we break through the 200 support, this is a very strong um, buy zone for me personally. So 
you know, and that would just look something like, like this. And we might bounce quickly off 200. We might retest 200 and fall and, you know, fall into that second buy zone that I have on the screen. That's kind of what I would look for as far as buying the dip. And on the upside, this 235, I'm just, I'm just really watching. Uh, I think a lot of people are. And if we can break through it, I might actually, I might just add to my position at that time. So those are some things that I'm looking at. So I'm not gonna like sit here and predict what's gonna happen. I was having some fun last night calling, calling the 235 uh, break through resistance. It didn't happen. So while looking at those two supports, you know, the 200 uh, and then the 180 down here and the resistance of 235, it's also especially important to keep an eye on the fact that we recently did break through the 50 EMA, which, which was a nice sign. Another nice sign is just a reminder that we bounced pretty nicely off the 200 EMA. So Litecoin, in my opinion, is, is looking strong, especially with all the things going on behind the scenes, partnerships, implementations, usage. So Litecoin's looking awesome for me. I love it. And lastly, we can, we can check out the RSI down here and I'll even just open it up. So you remember down in this area, we were talking about the, you know, the importance of breaking back above the 40 line so that we kind of don't enter that bear market because that would be a really big signal if we stayed down here. And we did. But one thing to keep an eye on now is, is where's momentum going to go? Is volume going to pick back up? Are we going to keep a, a nice amount of volume to have our, have our momentum increase? Or is this going to start trending down? And if it does start trending down, then that's when I really start looking for um, buying opportunities when that happens. So these are just some things I'm watching. I hope you're watching too. Be ready for no matter what happens. I know I am. Nobody knows what's going to happen. But again, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please do. I love just talking with all of you and kind of reading your comments both on Twitter and YouTube. So I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope you have an awesome Saturday. I will see you on the next video and God bless.